Hi, my name is Nicole Steen and welcome to Jimra. I have a total body workout for you with eight reps of eight exercises that we do in less than 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, open up those legs. Give me a deep inhale. Exhale. Yes, deep inhale. Exhale, go ahead and roll out those shoulders one at a time. Take it forward. Yes, loosen up the neck, side to side. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and reach it over. Other side. Yes, lunge it out side to side right here. Get some fire burning in those legs. Go ahead, touch the floor. Yes, hold it over to the side. Runner's lunge. Press it up and down, up and down. Yes, pull that belly in. Squeezing, looking good. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up there, nose to the knee. Walk it center. Take it over to the side and flip it over. Press it up and down. Good. Not letting the knee pass the toe. Burning it out for three, two, and one. Hold it up, nose to the knee. Walk it back to center. Oh, feel that stretch, bringing the elbows to the floor. Press it back up and bend the knees wide. Bounce it here. Bouncy bounce, burn it out. Good, walk it in. Slowly roll it up and run it out right here. Get that blood flowing and done, good. All right, our warm up is complete. It's time to get those weights. So you wanna grab five to 10 pound weights depending on your strength or what you're working on. As we do these eight moves for eight reps, slow to get the burn. So your first one is going to be an iso squat with a heel lift and a bicep curl. So go ahead, give me a wide stance. Open up, lift that heel, and you're gonna curl and take it down slow. Yes, curl. So notice my heel is lifted on this leg and it's burning because of that heel lift. Isometric holes, they always burn so good. And then on this curl, you're slowly taking it down so you feel a little extra kick when you are coming out of it. The biceps are definitely burning. The quads are burning as you keep the heel lifted in this squat. Last two. And one. Good job. Shake it out. I know that was burning my leg was starting to shake. All right, let's lift the other side, drop it low. Find that squat, curl, and slowly come down. So the reason we do these slow and controlled movements is so that your muscles are activated a little bit better because sometimes when you just go through the moves, you use momentum and we want to use the muscle, we want it to burn, we want it to fire up. The correct muscles. Yes. Almost there. Last two. And done, good job. One more. <laughs> Just kidding. Right here, this last one. And release. Great work, you guys. All right, let's get some more work in the legs, but this time we're gonna do lunges with an overhead press. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see my form. We're gonna do alternating lunges. So you're gonna drop and hold, drop right here. Actually, you're gonna hold the arms here, and then you're going to press. Drop, hold it, yes, and press. So hold right here.
All right, good. We're almost there. Squeezing on the up, pushing down through the heel on the lunge. Squeeze and press up. Last two. Exhale on the up. Find the balance on the lunge. Squeeze on that up. Yes, good job, you guys. That was a good leg and booty burner. All right, shake it out. We're gonna get into some abs, a little deadlift work as we do some alternating sides. So go ahead and cross your heart right here. Open those legs a little wide. Remember, you're gonna count to eight, getting those eight reps in. So tilt, slowly come up and squeeze. Down, squeeze, fill the hamstrings, fill the lower back. Activate, pull your belly in, squeeze. This is something like if you've ever done good mornings, you're just tilting from the hips and then you slowly come up. I feel the fire in my hamstrings, my lower back, my glutes, and my abs are working to keep me stabilized. And guess what also is getting work? You're holding these weights in your hands, your arms are getting work. Keeping them up, your shoulders, getting that burn. Slight bend in the knees. You don't wanna lock out, but you don't wanna turn it into a squat either. Tilt from the hips. You got it. Getting there to the end, slowly coming up. It's all about slow and controlled for my workouts today. Last two. Last one. Good job. Squeeze, loosen up those knees, yes. Loosen up the shoulders, you guys. Okay, now we're going to take it side lateral raise to a curtsy with a punch. So you're gonna go side lateral and hold your punch as you're low on that curtsy. Lateral, hold. Nice and low. And out, hold. So you wanna know what is working here. Lateral, you're getting those shoulders, of course. When you do your curtsy, you're getting that front leg quad muscle, butt cheek, and then when you do that punch, bicep and shoulder, two more, yes, last one, hold it, get lower, burn it out, you got it, and release, good job, let's go ahead and get into that other side, once again, when you do this, you wanna make sure that your knee's low. Elbows out to the side, even with the shoulders. Yes, hold. The lower you go, the harder you work. You came here to work hard, right? You came to get the best workout ever, to get stronger. That's why you're here to burn, tighten, tone. For last two, get low, don't cheat, I see you. Last one here, stay low, burn it out, and release. Good job, nice little shake up here. I'm gonna turn to the side so we can just focus on those arms. So you're gonna give me a nice low bend, tilt from the hips, Kick back, tricep kick back, right here. And you're gonna hold at the top, elbows nice and high, hold. Yes, squeezing and in, hold. Yes. So, people always come to me, my clients, students. Nicole, how can I get rid of that shaky, shaky in the back of my arms? This is it. This will tighten it up. You gotta squeeze though, don't just go through the movement, squeeze. Two more. 
Pull the belly in, keep the back flat. Last one. Yes. Hold. Three, two, and one. All right. We're getting towards the end and we're gonna work the legs and the chest. And of course those shoulders. So open those legs wide. Remember, eight reps. You're gonna go ahead and drop it low and you're gonna upright row and hold for eight. Elbows out to the side and release. You're gonna stay in the squat though. You're not gonna come up. Nice and burn, yes. Legs are burning the entire time. If you're giving your arms a little break, elbows are out to the side. Shoulders are on fire. Yes. Burn it here. Don't let your wrists droop. A lot of time people will give me those little broken wrists. Nope. Strong. Power. Last two. Yes. Stay with it. Last one. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and down. Good job. All right, you guys, we got some bicep curls. We're back to that squat, but we're going to work the biceps. Concentrated curls right here. So get low. Go ahead, put that other hand in your hip right here. Hold it, curl, and slowly descend for eight. Curl, down. down you got it feel the blood pumping up that bicep up yes nice and slow nice and controlled I want you to feel that burn all the way down I know your legs are burning too last two yes one more come on let's get it and release Shake it out, the legs are burning, we gotta loosen it up. All right, let's go to the other side. Bend it low, take it down, tuck that other hand in the hip, right here, elbow in front of the thigh, curl it, and release. Slow, controlled, feel the burn, I love the burn. Up, yes. So you're putting all your energy into those bicep muscles, right here on that one arm. And yes, your legs are holding you up. They're burning too. But you're focused on that bicep. Oh yeah. You add your resistance. That's why you don't need to go so heavy if you're adding your own resistance with the slowdown of the timing. Not using momentum. Using control for the last two. And one. And done. Good job. Shake, shake, shake. All right, last exercise. Eight of eight, you guys. Go ahead and bring those feet in. You're gonna give me a single arm shoulder raise right here. So one arm is here. You're gonna press and slowly bring it down. Yes, press, down. There you go. Squeeze. Feel your back activate as well. Your traps as you squeeze and pull it down. Oh yeah, it's burning. But it's good rounding out the entire body. I told you, total body workout. We get everything. We got those buns from Ms. Buns of Scene. We're getting the abs as you stand here. Last one. Coming up, push. And release. And guess what, both arms are getting work because the other one's holding you up. Let's finish strong. Ready, up, and down for eight. Press. When I do this move, I like to think that I'm punching the air, a little fist pump, if you will, showing off my muscles. Go team, go Jimra. Go nice body, that's what we're here for. Getting stronger with each rep. Also, you wanna exhale on that up. Yes, fill your shoulder for the last two. Give me one more, give me one more, right here. Slow, down, two, one. Yes, you did it. You're done. See, less than 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and stretch. Roll out those shoulders, forward and back.
Take that arm across. Oh, stretch it out. Feels so good. Take it back. So you guys, you can do all of these workouts over and over. And if you want to challenge, you add more weight or you take away weight if it's too much for you. It's your workout and you can make it however you want to satisfy your needs. Press forward, stretching out the neck, loosen it up. Go ahead, take those hands back, stretching out the chest, the shoulders. Look up into the sky and think of what a great job you just did. Oh, tilt it over. Stretch out the back of those thighs. Yes, go ahead and turn it to the side. Get a nice lunge. Open up. Bring it down, press up. Center, turn to the other side. Open up. Take it down, press it up and walk it to the center. Bend those knees and up. Walk those legs in. Slowly roll it up. Give me a deep inhale. Exhale. Great job, you guys. My name is Nicole Steen, and you just did the total body workout with Jimra. See you next time.